Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Wanted to show you um, how you start Prince Emmerich. I only put it on hard and battle difficulty hard. I don't want to show everybody very hard or legendary because this is more of a tutorial for a new player. And in fact, I, I you know what, I'll bring it down to, you know, I still like hard. It won't be as difficult for you as it's going to be for me, but I just want to show you the beginning and what you need to do. How I found the most amount of success, and I'm just going to breeze through it in about, you know, five, ten minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start this campaign. All right. <coughs> this is a very difficult campaign. You're going to be attacked, attacked. You're going to, they're going to come from the east. They're going to come from the west. They're going to sneak attack you. The one good thing is to your south, nothing's going to come through there for about a hundred turns. So the south is clear. But everything else is not. You're going to get attacked by the east. I'm going to show you what I do because the first turns really, you need to make moves. You cannot sit back. You have got to strike. You've got to, you got to get Imric. You got to get his army. You got to get busy. You cannot stall. And he, there is no time where Imric is sitting somewhere doing nothing. He needs to be attacking just getting them and then you need to really consider like what i'm going to show you here i'm going to show you the first couple turns but i'm a big fan of going east and going taking down the skaven at skaven blight they're not skaven blight but at the very east where emrick is that at the very last province there is the skaven homeland i go i almost sometimes go straight to there and i'm like let's do this just finish them take the next province over figure it out from there because if you let the Skaven control one full province, they will drop three, four units in your damn base at all times. And then the orcs are to the west. You don't have long until the orcs Behold, come. Prince you know, I don't need to hear this, this nonsense here. All right, let's 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 talk about let's talk about this. Okay. Where do they start? You see, all right, we're going to start right in the middle. We don't even upgrade here yet. All right. <coughs> We're not messing around either. I hear the Put the dead. wizard in the Imric's army. You Do take Imric, and I'm not even messing around, guys. You take that. You t you drive it right into Darkhold. Don't even don't even play around. Don't the even play around. Rage. Watch. This is what you should do at the beginning of your campaign. You they send it right in there with the mage. This is on hard, by the way. You don't wait. You just auto resolve this. The balance I of power. Will. He's got I nothing. As it was meant to be. Blam. Decisive victory. We took uh, we took 76 losses. That's unfortunate. They cannot remain. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to occupy. We're not messing around. We need this province. This province. Oh, and look at that. I got a, I got a weapon. Oh, we already have a star lance. So we can go over to our mage and just give her a plus eight versus large. Nice. All right, so let's upgrade Emmerich. I always start Route Marcher. That 10% is huge. Start it at the beginning of the game so that you can always have the 10% from here on out. You know, don't do it later. Get value from it now. I know you want the Dragon Horn, but we're not going to need to battle our first couple of turns. Get that later. Get the Route Marcher. Do it. You too. Do it. Just, just do it, all right? One level. Just do it. All right, so this is first turn. So now, now that we've recovered here, we go right to research. We only have one choice, so obviously we're gonna click it. All right, and now we need to talk about what you need to fit, do with your money here. So we could upgrade some of these if we needed to, but I think the only one you need to upgrade is your own main uh, growth here. It's only 2700 we have the gold so we're going to upgrade that we're also going to upgrade that for additional income i need money i need money money is important here and here we get the most expendable cheapest unit possible we get the cheap archers there's three of them our mage has an upgrade as well we're going to throw it in the fireball all right so that is first turn we're out of money, right? But we need we we went aggressive. We're not even gonna worry about money because this this army's gonna recover. We'll have we still have our dragon. Only our white knights and our spearmen 
really took it in the chin. All right, we shouldn't be attacked next turn. So let's take a look at the lay of the land here. All right, to the east, we have this guy. I have never seen this army right here get powerful enough to do anything. Usually they're conquered by the Skaven or some other force. So ne don't worry about pigs barter. And also another thing about this eastern swamplands right here. Let's talk about this. It takes two turns of a force march to get through this damn swamp. So if later in the game, you just put a wizard or a noble here just to make sure nobody's coming through here. But never go this way. And if you see an army coming this way, station your army right over by Fortress Vorag, or right on the border, right? But never go this way. You go around, all right? You see this little bridge here? That's your baby right there. That is where you want to be. This, I will demonstrate it too, all right? So that's first turn. We don't even need diplomacy because nobody's going to talk to us. It doesn't matter. End turn, turn two, here we come. We don't mess around. We go right for them. We, we go for them. We take them down. We don't mess around. This is not, oh, maybe we should get a bigger army. No. Well, maybe we should upgrade. No. Attack. Attack, attack, attack. All right. We got some military advances first thing. Yeah, we got a... Uh, we're going to be using a lot of archers. So, we're going to do archers first. We don't waste our money on the upgrades right now. See this guy right here? This guy messed up. But so we're gonna simply move it over here. We're not gonna mess around. We go right for the attack. Backs off. Okay. Alright, we're not gonna get lured into a trap here. If we go back to our side of the border. Alright. I think he we have eleven, he has six. We have money. So we have currently five archers, so we're just gonna put Two spearmen and one more archer. We don't do anything more. Do we upgrade? No. We take a look around. We make sure nothing's happening. No armies visible. Even if he f fully recruits, he can't match us. Second turn is easy. We just upgrade. Dealer's choice on it. You can go all archers. I get a couple spearmen, a little bit damaged over here. I'm daring him. Come attack me, buddy. Come get some. Come get some if you want some. Anytime. Dwarves. All right, so this is third turn. Like this is going fast. Look at that. He ran right into his fortress, right? But we've been uh, recruiting on the border. And look at that. What was that ten percent route march important? So you could just lay siege to him. Don't mess around. Look at that. We have an overwhelming advantage, overwhelming superiority. Auto resolve that. And it is done. Get in there. Prisoners. Occupy that. You may look upon them. Now we have the first province. Warrior, be free. We don't need to fight this battle if we don't need to. I'm just showing you the first couple turns. If you want to fight the battle, do better. So be it. We won. What do you want? All right. Now we do the uh, dragon horn because that ability is massively useful. And for the mage, I don't need level two fireball. All right. What you need to do is the burning head. This spell right here will make you or break you in a battle. All right. There's an upgrade to be done here. Look, we could bring a fright to level two. We do. What I do is I instantly sort my troops. I don't like damage. I like them sorted. So I bring them together with this merge selected units. I need me. I want my units 100% most of the time. All right. And also because we lost units, it drops your upkeep. All right, we're not done. We're still we're we're still buying units. All right, we we don't care if we're broke. More archers, more archers. All right, we're gonna go finish him next turn. We check around. We're out of money. We look around to make sure another army's not gonna try to sneak us here. We look around. We look around. That's third turn. We took the we took it. Oh, commandment. So we simply go to the unit. Take a look. What we want to do with this. What we want to do in this province. Looking at it, look, we're getting minus 12. And what's it from? Minus 12 from Conquest, Provincial. We got just problems all over the place, right? So what we're going to do is see this one right here, Reaver Patrol. Campaign movement range, 10% armies. That's not useful. 
Not right now. Nobody's attacking us. We're attacking. 4% from trade faction. Why? We don't have any trade. So that's not useful. Rebuild lost splendor. Construction cost 10% for all buildings. Growth 20%. Possibility. Rally citizen militia. We just don't need it. We're doing well. And untainted plus 2 in this province. We do have a little bit of vampiric damage going at 10%. But you know what? We're going to go over here to growth 20%. We need to get this province upgraded as soon as possible. So that's the third turn. We're, I'm almost done with this part of the video. I just want to show early game, and then I'll move on. I'll make another video about what we do, what I'm going to do. But I want to show you the first couple turns, what you need to do to make yourself successful. Because right now, we're, we're on a crusade, bro. We, we, we're wiping out dwarves, all right? And the dwarves want to... Yeah, no. How about we just decline attack, buddy? No, you can fight that if you want, but I want a bigger army. So all we do is now we're going to go muscle him. Merge units if you can, merge units if you can. Make sure they're organized. And we move it right up to four. I, we just bank the 1300. We don't do anything. Next turn, all our buildings upgrade. And we're done. Fourth turn, done. So we're going to the fifth. All right, so we're going to number five. And this is pretty much going to be the last thing I want to show you. Because our army is so big and we haven't been taking a lot of losses, and we're upgraded and we're getting levels, now we're just going to go right over here to Mount Greyhag. Look at that. We don't even mess around. Just go right over there. And you know what? Judging by this, we're going to win this auto resolve. We have dragons that are fully upgraded. Archer relevancy. This is going to be an auto, easy auto resolve. Clear victory. Look, we didn't even lose. We only lost 263. All right. In legendary and the hard, you got to fight that battle. But we had overwhelming advantage against them. So we auto resolve. And this will pretty much end the video because this is. I need to make another video of what you go from here. Look, I needed that faction gone. I don't want them to come hit me with a weak max stack army finish them and move on we need it now now look at that look at that bro back to for first hands out merge select these because look at my upkeep's 922 at the top of the screen see this 922 i don't like that merge them oh look at that all right merge the and in fact this one is 14 kick them all right we need to save money here upgrade now you I'll, I'd like to finish out the sword player. Just get them all finished first and then start making your upgrades. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. And then you're going to take Kindle Flame first because it's just it's a passive ability, so you always gain it. Always take Kindle Flame. Just after you have some spells, then take Kindle Flame because it just it helps them. So it's a passive buff that you never lose, so it's worthy of taking it. All right, so we have 4,000 gold. You look around, and the first building I want to tell you before the end of this video is that your main hub there, you have a choice, right? And th the choices can be significant. Some people say go money. I disagree with everybody. I say I have the money, and I say go for right for the mages. And here's the reason. Now, I'm going to say that that's what I would like to do, but my friends and a lot of people would argue with me saying that the uh, – that because we're going to fight Skaven, and I agree with them, I want to go mages, but I'm going to not. I'm going to select Siege, Elven Forge, because now we get the uh, Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, which will single-handedly destroy the Skaven, which are to our east, which is going to be in the next video. But that's our first upgrade. We do that. It appears that we have only a 1,000 gold. So we go back and look at our hero here. All right, what does this need? You know what he needs? He just needs one Spearman squad there. Right? That's about all we need on that front. In fact, you know what? No, no, no. We'll give them two. We're out of front linesmen. So, and then that will do it. And I'm not going to hit end turn. I'm going to end the video right here. That was your first five turns. Okay? What we've done, what we have currently is we're making 1,100 a turn. We have a max. We Not a max. He's not max stat. We have 14 units with the dragon still. All right, I, I didn't really want to show a battle either. I just want to show you what you need to do your first turns at Imrit. Is you just take this province, right? 
And that's what you're going to do. You're going to set yourself up. Now you have choices. And briefly, I'm going to talk about the next video, but briefly you have a choice to go east. And right over here is, right here, is the capital of the Skaven. You can go here. Or right here is another capital. This, these two right here, you can get some marble and another capital right there. It's a very good province. It only carries two. But you will engage the orcs. So, and another strategy I've had is to go down to Ma Nagash here. There is a problem, though, that I've run into with that. Maybe not if I work on the strategy more. But the problem is, is that as soon as you take it, you, an uh, undead army rebels and tries to take you with almost a near max stack army. And by the time you get through the four turns of trudging through this land with damage, you, you come to the dam, you get here and you're hurt. And then you, by the time you rec you're barely recovered and you got to fight a max stack undead army. It's difficult at the early game to do it. I still have to test it. Maybe I'll do that. I'll make this save and I'll, I'll attempt to make a YouTube video to show it. But YouTube, thank you for watching. And, I've, and I'll make a next video here shortly. And we'll see you go from there. Little girl, thank you for watching. If you're watching, Warhammer community, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next, I'll see you next time.